welcome in my wonderful, wonderful, messy room. Gorgeous, huh? I just have been doing my Prisca yoga in this mess. See, I'm sitting here on my yoga mat <laughs> between laundry and boxes full of stuff and um, yeah, garbage and whatever. But I just wanted to like record that little video to um, update you about my journey here, where I am at the moment. Um, thing is, I have found another person who will rent my room. She's an adorable uh, woman in, I think, my age, or no, she's probably younger, but who cares? Well, and she will move in in April, and I have found um, a room in Amsterdam with that with the lovely lady I mentioned in the last video, this Natalie woman, which is really adorable, and we have been Skyping for one and a half hour, and we could have, like, chatting um, even longer, because we had so much to tell each other. And yes, and I can bring my dog, and everything is working out, obviously. It's amazing. I'm so, so grateful. But um, the thing that has been, like, um, on my mind and on in my system was more other processes that, that were going on because I, I've told you I the reason why I'm going to Amsterdam is because I fell in love and um, yeah this love is very big but not <laughs> really uh, easy the circumstances aren't that easy but I want to tell you about that at the moment you will one day you will know but at the moment I don't want to talk about that um, be, yeah because of different reasons and um, thing is, when you are loved that much, it brings light to every wound you still bear somewhere inside of you. And I thought, before I thought everything is solved, I've like have done so many cleanings and I have like done so many sessions and processes and everything. But if somebody comes along and loves you that fiercely and that strong and with that like openness whoa <laughs> this is huge this is huge and i got back into places where i didn't even know that there existed anymore and yesterday was a very intense day um he wrote me like something and i just read the first sentence and i had literally to sit down because i felt like a punch in my in my stomach and i couldn't cry or anything but i could I could observe my thoughts and I was going back into the darkest places. I felt like abandoned, abandoned um, rejected is the word I think. Um, I had this um, massive uh, fear of lose, uh, of loss, of losing him. Um, all the, the like experience I've ever had with, with rejection came up and I had all these scenarios in my head and I was even thinking will I still be going to Amsterdam if he like leaves me and whatever I went to places we don't want to talk about and the thing is I couldn't stop these thoughts I could observe them and I, I was very aware of them but I couldn't stop them in the moment so I just like let them flow until I really got calm again and I got back to the message and read it to the end and was it was the most beautiful message ever and when I was a few minutes later sitting in my friend's car I was crying like a baby everything was coming out and this is um one of the things I wanted to share with you, because I was also talking to my mom yesterday and she was like, oh, it's so it's such a hard situation for you and um, it's really amazing how you do that. Thank you so much, mom, for your support. And um, yeah, and I said to her, you know, mom, the thing is, if you're going a new way, that doesn't mean that it it's like easy or flowy or that you, um, if you want to make a decision, that you just go this path without any hesitations or any doubts. Okay, there are no doubts, but the thing is, if you want, and if you make a new choice for your life, if you um, decide um, to think other thoughts or for like break through an old pattern, then this takes time. This is a process. And in the beginning, you, you can't stop like your mind from going there. You, you can just like observe it and then stop it. Because like the brain is like this big, um, how do you call that? This big fat street, like a main street. Um, and it's 
always takes this main street, this big like um, uh, road roadway. This is the, this is the word. Um, uh, there is another one. I don't care, whatever. It just takes this road again and again and again. And if you make a new decision, you make like new synapses, like new ways. And but first, it's like just this little like um, path you're going, and you really have to create that path first. And when you're not like aware all the time, your brain just is it's very lazy organ, 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 organ. <laughs> no idea. Sorry. Uh, my Pringlish, woo, whatever. Um, it's very lazy the brain, and it takes this like known road. It has been going for years and years and years and years. But if you're creating your new path, this takes time to do it, to 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 walk that, to make a real road of that, so that the brain automatically takes the new way, the new path, the new choice you have like um, you have you have made. You know what I mean? So. This is like a muscle you have to train and you have to decide again and again and again and again. And in the beginning, when you start out with this new thought, with this new like behavior, with this new habit, with whatever you want to renew in your life, this takes time to establish that in, in your life and in your thoughts. And in the beginning, don't be mad with yourself if you get there and like redo the old pattern, Just but just be aware of it, just observe yourself, observe what you are thinking. And I know if when you're thinking the whole body reacts and the fear is coming up and you feel it in your, or in your body everywhere, this is normal. But just keep deciding for what you want, keep um, changing your life by being persistent in what you want and for going for, um, for doing this choice again and again and again. That's what it's all about. So you can create new patterns in your brain and new patterns in your life, in your whole experience here in this world. This is training. This takes time. This is a process. And I am so forever grateful that I do have a partner who understands this, who has the same issues as I do, because it's not only uh, me freaking out, only he has his uh, stuff to do. And we're going this path very like um, aware together, and it's an amazing thing, and I'm so grateful for that. But um, yes, that's the main thing I wanted to share. So don't be upset with yourself if this happens to you. It takes time. Um, yes, and um, so and don't be um, angry with yourself because the thing is when you get like mad or upset about anything that happens to you. You know that there is like a wound hidden under this. And this part of you needs your attention and it needs your love. So embrace this part in you. It's mostly some old childhood wound who needs like care, who needs your attention. So this is like so healing on so many levels if you're going your path in awareness and if you're breaking through your fears and if you like making new choices because as I always tell behind your greatest fear lies your true treasure there is your freedom there lies your soul freedom there lies lies your bliss so go for your dreams and don't let yourself stop um, by first like throwbacks and like um, by fears or other emotions that are coming up or showing up. Just take your time, feel into these um, emotions, um, tune into yourself and observe your thoughts and break them again and again and again and make a new choice and new choice and new choice because it's your life and um, you are the director of your life, nobody else. That's it. So that's what I had to share today. I think I still have some stuff to do. Um, I'll be on stage this evening. We have opening night in the Stadttheater Olten for this um, Swiss-German play I'm in. And I'm very looking forward to that. And as you can see, I'm still having oh, many, many things. If somebody learns Italian, I have so much Italian learning stuff, like 1,000 books. Um, I have to learn Dutch now. No more Italian. Well, so... Um, and I wish you a most amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Please leave your comment if you have to share something about your own story, about your own experiences. 
And if you have a question, just please reach out to me on soulfreedom at priskabauman.com as always. And yes, have a most amazing time. Much of love. Mwah.